Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on where you are zooming in from. I am Professor Linda Keen from the School of the Art Institute of Chicago, and I'm excited to share ideas about design of learning environments with panel eight. I am going to get started sharing my screen and introduce you to my colleagues, Katja Thoring, who works with Spaces for Creativity, Nicole Lotz, who works with digital learning environment, and myself, who works as an architect, an educator, and an e-learning innovator. So let's get started. We live in a designed world, nature's and our own. We connect next.cc, the CC stands for Curiosity and Compassion, STEAM by Design Transdisciplinary Approach to nine scales of human construction and creation, nano, pattern, object, space, architecture, neighborhood, urban, region, and world. We work with college students to connect the design practices that they are learning um, the, with professionals and museum interactives and field trips with K-12 schools, students, families, and teachers. The team is multi-generational, multinational, and all advocates for the right of every child to have project-based, place-based learning right in their own communities with global connections. We cross cultures and continents. We join with partners locally and globally. And we are used in over 200 countries around the world by imaginations wanting to contribute to making the world a better place to live. All you have to do if you have a phone, an iPad or a computer is Google next.cc and you will see the nine scales and you will see traditional subjects and then echo literacy, digital fluency, environment and architecture. You can pick any combination of scales, any combination of subjects and what you see below the icons are journeys and they will toggle. The journeys that next.cc researches and creates introduce tools used by scientists, artists, designers, environmentalists to learn from the world, observe the world, engage the world, and contribute to the world. They introduce languages or sets of ideas and principles, which is straight K-12 testing stock. But then they introduce discovery of interrelated fields of information, overlapping and informing each other. And then finally, design responses, how technology, economy, culture, society, history, the environment contribute to what humans create and innovate. So just Google next.cc and pick your tools, language discovery or design journeys. There are over 350. Each time you click on an icon, it will open up an introduction, five to 10 activities, an online review, and best of all, explore links topically about the things in the world that you are most interested in. We create design challenges for students about different topics, for teachers and professional development, for school districts to bring design and place-based learning across the curriculum, taking it throughout the campus, inside, outside, into the community and connecting with the natural and built environment in the world. We encourage everyone to be an explorer of the world like Carrie Smith's book. And we ask you only to look down, look out and look up and understand the wonder of the built in natural environments. Panel eight will be looking at higher education and K-12 innovations in learning and the expansion of avenues for learning anywhere, anytime, anyway. So it's relatively under research the design of learning spaces. And so this track explores two different perspectives. The role of space, physical, virtual, hybrid, inside, outside, and then investing, investigating how learning spaces can or should be designed. So we'll start right away today with unlock three K-12 papers 
Unlocking Well-Being Affordance in Elementary Schools Initiated by a Natural Experiment Caused by COVID. Case Studies or the Effects of Certain sti Selected Stimuli in the Physical School Environment on Learning and Behavior. And then SenSeed, a multi-sensory learning environment for urban preschoolers in China to learn about plant seeds. And we then will end the day with for panel A with a hands-on workshop with the leftovers of a participation, how to identify the value of interaction-based design learning experiences. Saturday morning, we start with three papers on higher education about virtual learning, imp game implementation within the content of architectural design studios, architectural design studios, extended problem space, and immersive learning from basic design for communication theoretical framework. In the afternoon, we'll go into virtual simulation. Teaching, is it helpful with virtual stimulation? Designing criteria for developing educational multimedia games and utilizing collaborative online international learning or COIL as a pedagogical framework. We will also close tomorrow with a workshop with students and teachers becoming co-designers of learning for creating, organizing, and sharing media-rich documents. And then finally, on Sunday, we have papers, the intellectual diet and pastoral spaces of activity in design education, rethinking experiential learning, and the shift of the systematic design course to a multimodal online learning environment, and then look at the materiality of space and time in the virtual design studio. And we will end with hybrid spaces teaching for Chinese traditional costume craft and critical assemblages in response to emergency hybrid studio pedagogy. So thank you, and we hope you enjoy the conference and let's get learning. <laughs>